and uh, all the uh, operations uh, uh, before uh, bottling envisage uh, these uh, six steps. First of all, residue removal, so wine residue removal, usually uh, by means of uh, cold water or lukewarm water, then uh, um, basic uh, detergent cleansing, uh, then rinsing, of course, uh, and uh, the possible uh, use uh, of uh, citric acid for neutralization and then uh, uh, disinfectant. Uh, uh, so uh, it is important to clarify that there is uh, a difference between detergent and uh, sanitizer. The sanitizer is not effective if you don't remove uh, uh, the uh, dirty uh, particles before. And then rinsing when necessary. So some uh, uh, disinfection techniques do not require rinsing, others do require it, and this also interacts with the um, aspects concerning water consumption, which were referred to by the previous speaker. Then we have also to remind uh, that uh, the uh, um, word uh, cleansing or cleaning uh, is extremely important because we have to remember that uh, the residues uh, to be removed from, removed from wine uh, are um, characterized by what uh, a consistency. So for instance, if we consider residual sugar, for instance, and then we have the crystal part uh, of uh, uh, production digrate. So this can be removed only by means of uh, a basic detergent. So this operation of uh, uh, cleansing, uh, you know, uh, is very effective because it can um, eliminate, remove even 80% of residues or 90%, but it is important that uh, there is 100% uh, mm, uh, clean. So we have to remember that uh, the water is not uh, wetting properly if it is not helped by some substance uh, which uh, reduce its uh, and lower its uh, surface tension. You can see here how to capture the dirty particles uh, which are here in a cavity, uh, for instance, or in a, a notch. Then uh, if we uh, um, lower the surface tension, you can and remove it otherwise if it is too high and it's the natural one you don't uh, succeed then there are a lot uh, of uh, methods to uh, sanitize uh, bottling plants to say what you do after the first cleaning so we may think of uh, um, steam or hot water or chemical agents that may uh, be also considered safe uh, for working environment like peroxyacetic acid or hydrogen peroxide and more recently ozone. Um, the constructive complexity uh, of a bottling machine with uh, small diameter passages uh, then requires a fundamental feature and characteristic. It is important to reach all the portions of the machine. However, at the same time, we uh, must not think that if we use uh, a means that could be really strong, sort of saying, uh, may be used uh, um, usually because we have also to preserve uh, the uh, mechanics uh, integrity and also the uh, seals, you know, for instance, uh, um, and we have to preserve them. And usually they're made of rubber or polymer and certain.